fruits and vegetables. Damage can be avoided by using field crates lined with protective material, such as sponge or lightweight fabric. If neither of those materials are available, newspaper will do. Delicate skin fruits such as tomatoes and zucchini should have a layer of protective material in between each layer of harvested crop. The fruits and vegetables should be placed carefully into the field crates. They should never be dropped or thrown. Harvesters should have clean hands and trimmed fingernails. If available, they should wear soft gloves. Whenever possible, selection and classification of marketable fruit should be done in or near the greenhouse to avoid unnecessary transporting of non-commercial fruits. In some cases, packaging can also be done in the field, adding more value to the deliverable product. Certain crops, such as cucumbers and melons, should be cooled immediately after harvesting to prolong shelf life. This applies especially if the crop is going to be transported for several days. Cooling facilities should be located on the site. Crop elimination is when plants are removed from the greenhouse, once all of their fruit has been harvested. This should be completed as soon after the final harvest as possible. Failure to do so will provide a haven for pests and diseases that will be ready to attack the following crop. Once all the crop material has been removed, a good contact insecticide should be sprayed to eliminate any pests remaining in the greenhouse. If needed, a soil fumigant may also be applied at this time. Farmers should leave at least two weeks before the planting of the next crop. Plants retain many of the nutrients they receive during the production cycle. If the crop finishes production in a healthy condition free of disease and any herbicide residue, then the plants can be composted and utilized as fertilizer. Potassium, phosphorus, magnesium, and calcium are usually recovered from the plants. Greenhouses can be a very successful way of growing high-value crops. Good planning, hard work, constant supervision, and a broad technical understanding of the processes involved will result in a successful and profitable operation. For further information, please see FinTrack bulletins and manuals.